Hi doll friends, welcome back. This is Michael Canadas and, and Jose Cabrera. We are today doing a little addendum for our Christmas dress. It appears that we left out one little step. So we're going to do that for you today. So what we left out was the bustle tab. Now if you hear some heavy breathing, that's gonna be Louie. And if you hear snoring, that'll be Annabelle and Bixby. And I apologize for that, but we're, we're in their space. So here we've cut out the bustle tab, and we've cut out the lining for the bustle tab. So now we're going to do the next procedure, which is we're going to sew them up. And we're up upstairs in our beauty department, and we're with, so those are the pieces, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And um, we've cut them out the way that we like, which is we want the um, main center uh, red, red stripe down the center. So that's what we're going to do. So we're, Jose's pinning it, so we're just going to pin it. This is a very little easy step. And we're just going to sew it and then um, following the seam al allowance that's on your pattern uh, page piece. We're using my original machine. It's my longest relationship I've had in my life. It's with Rosie. Ecru colored um, thread. It doesn't matter because this is going to get turned inside out. It's going to be again. You can hear Annabelle really going to town. Trimming. We're going to turn it inside out. The fabric that we've used for the lining is um, the fabric that you would uh, get with your sleeves. So there is enough in. Uh, that little piece to do the sleeves and have enough for um, the lining of this bustle tab. And Jose, what your little tool you use? Is that your little? It's called a pointer. A pointer. Mm -hmm. And yours is wood. I know some are plastic, but I think that's a nice one to. It's have. bamboo. Yeah. Bamboo. They don't make this anymore. I bet you could find it somewhere though. Okay, so that's it. And that's then we it. press. And then we'll come back and do the decoration. Okay, we'll press and we'll be back. We're back. So we've pressed the, the bustle tab out. And you can see we've got our stripe down the center, which is what we want in this particular design. You can do it any way you want, but this is how we're doing it. And then we've, we've done the ruffles. And you can see the back. We've done the ruffles as... Um, We've showed you the ruffles in one of the earlier um, chapters. So now we're pinning it and we're gonna just sew it down. So we've got that. And now I should tell you that, uh, I'm neglected to tell you this, but when you're working with this ribbon, it's very delicate and you cannot use a large needle on it. You have to use a very small, delicate needle. And what size is that, Jose? That uh, this would... is a size 11. 11. Mm -hmm. So no, no, 11 is about the right size. It doesn't damage the ribbon. So if you're using a big old needle to try to sew this down, you're just making big holes in, in the silk ribbon. This is hand dyed. So, it, you know, it's very delicate. It's very light, don't you think? Mm-hmm. It's very light, yeah. So 
So you're going about into the uh, sew holes that are that you've already made, correct? Yes. Yeah. Now some people have doubted that you need the full seven yards of um, ribbon to do this dress, but you're going to use every inch of that to do this. We're just putting Annabelle to, to sleep. She's so bored with this whole thing. No, I'm evidently not. Oh, I said Annabelle. She heard that. Oh, no. And then we're going to cover these stitches with our little, our little um, interfacing of the silk on this. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the other side, and then we will come back, and then we'll show you what we're going to do with the back. And then we'll get to the point of um, applying it. So we're back. We have done the sewing of the ruffles, uh, the, the Madame Pompadour ruffles. We've got those done. So the next thing, we flipped it uh, over. Uh, Jose, can you open that up and then just show them how we've done that? Yeah. So basically, you're going to flip it raw edge to raw edge, fold it over. We were going to line the um, stitches with green ribbon. You could do that if you happen to have enough ribbon to do it. Uh, but I think that um, only do that if you really got a little excess of ribbon because it's really not going to show. So we're going to fold it from raw edge to raw edge and see. And then the next stage is the, the fun part. So we're going to sew it sew the, the raw edges together. We're going to go right on the very, very edge, as, as far to the edge as we can get. So I couldn't even give you a, a seam allowance for doing that. It's just going to be right on the edge. Ah, thread broke. Okay. That's the old thread. Don't, don't do what we just did, is we're using some old thread. Uh, because I can't find the green thread from the... Hey, Eddie, did you find any thread in that box? Uh, that... Got some green one. Is it that... Oh, is that it? No, that's not it. Um, we're using old thread right now. Do not do not do this at home because it's, it's kind of a waste of your time because it, it can break easily. So we're just going to sew that up. The good news about this is it's not, you know, she's not wearing it in the sense of arms going through it or waistband. It's a, a, a decoration. Okay. So we've got that sewn. We're going to tie it off. And then we're going to decide how we're going to pleat it or gather it. And shall we have a look at the actual garment that needs it, which is this one. She needs it. I can't believe that we totally forgot to, uh, to put the tabs on. So I would say that since we're pleating this way, that we'll do the top tab, the opposite, and vice on the other side. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do it any way you want. So let's just figure out which way we want. You mean the pleats? Yeah, you want them to go that way? You want it to follow suit? Which you could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no reason that it couldn't. Okay, I, I think that's beautiful. Okay, 
and then we'll sew that down. Again, we're sewing right at the very edge, as close to the edge as you can get. Because we need this whole, this is not a huge piece. It, uh, in the original Rose Percy um, uh, garment that this is based on, it's, this is to scale. This is the scale of what she has as a, um, a tab top. Technically, we really shouldn't be calling this a bustle tab because there isn't really, the bustle is not a thing of fashion yet. Okay. So there we go. And we're going to create the other one and then we're going to apply it. We're back. We've got our bustle tab uh, sewn up. Uh, we've got it pleated. Now we're going to apply it to the to the to the streamer. So we're going to butt it up to the top. We're going to just sew it down. We're going to pin it first, but then we're going to just sew it down. And you see, we needed all of that seam allowance that we could get. That's why we sewed it right at the right at the, the tip. So we're going to just sew it down. And get both pieces in. You're still using your 11, aren't you? Your 11 needle? Yes. Yeah. They can use a thicker needle if For they this, want to. This yes, part. this, I think it's better. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's, you're going through quite a few layers. Yeah. It's, you know, like five layers of fabric. So you, in, this, in this case, you could use a bigger needle. Uh, we don't have that much to sew, so we'll 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 struggle with it. So really, that's just a couple little finish off the little edge, and then tie it off. Fold it down and decide. Is it looking good up there? I it, 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 it looks good. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to fold it down. And I love how the um, how the plaid is all lining up beautifully. And then we're going to just do one little tack. You can you can not tack it. You can tack it. However, whatever you think looks pretty. Uh, but we're going to just do one little tack down so that it lays down perfectly. It doesn't matter where you do it, but we're doing it kind of right in the center. And that's it. So it's got one little, well, I'm going to knot it off again there. And this is so far up in the in the uh, piece that it's never really going to show. So it's ready to go. We've already done the other side. So this is it. This is the addendum to the Christmas dress. Uh, I apologize for forgetting this. I think we were we uh, uh, we we did, did it one time before. So we, I guess we thought we'd already done it. So here it is. I hope you enjoy this project and have fun with it. Bye-bye, doll friends.